This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. All right, so I'm taking a position now across from the legislative office building at the State House, a location where people used to be able to freely come and go, no matter who they were, pretty much, and now they've blocked it off so that it's access card only. You have to be a state rep or a bureaucrat uh, to to, uh, to go in, in that door. It's right across, you know, as you see from the legislative office building. And uh, I've been over here before to, uh, you know, knock on the door kind of loudly, but no one, uh, no one uh, cared. Now I'm going to ask questions of the people who are getting special treatment. And <laughs> I don't know if that's going to trigger a response. It doesn't have to, but I, I, I still want to ask the questions. So uh, I got to ask, uh, why is it that you can go in there and I can't? Well, isn't this a divided, a division between the people and the government? No, it's not. You can go in the front door. I'm the people I can't go in. People say I'm, sometimes they say, that I'm trying to provoke this or that reaction from the government. Uh, well, maybe so, maybe no, but Gandhi was the one who said, at least in the movie Gandhi, the, the movie version of Gandhi said that in order for uh, an act of civil disobedience or something like that to be successful, it must provoke a reaction from the government. So um, if, I, if I'm provoking, then I'm following in good footsteps. And yes, since when is asking questions such a provocation? Although with, with her, it wasn't. Looks like the governor's luxury mobile is here. I bet he gets to go in that way. <laughs> okay, so that's Senator Bradley over there. I was about to, uh, I was about to congratulate him for uh, not avoiding me, but he did avoid me. <laughs> He's going in the other way, I guess. We'll check and see. Like if we, if we see, if you see him go up those stairs over there, that means he's he's avoiding me. He's going in some back entrance. Is that him? Well, we'll see when we look at the video. Well, I win if he goes in that way, and I win if he goes in this way. And here's what I look like today. So, I guess it's conceivable he, he uh, could have gone from his red vehicle here over there because it's quicker, but I don't think so. He, he probably would have parked over there if that had been the case. This is like, uh, you know, this is, if you think about the communists when they had the, the uh, their own driving lane. Well, in this case, the, it's just the, the government getting its own places to park. You can go in there? You can go in there? Yeah, you can get in on the on the front side. It's oh, right okay. Yeah. So I gotta ask, if, why is it that the people can't go in there, but you can? No, yeah, it's open from the front. Is that appropriate? Until a year ago, I could go in there. Or I should say a year ago, I think, I could go in there. And somewhere between there and here, the people were banned by this authoritarian cabal that runs the state. But happens to be less authoritarian than all the other state governments in the world. <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> not quite. Gotta ask, how come you get to go in there but the people can't? I'm a worker. A government worker, you're supposed to work for the people. Is there a divide between the people and the government? How come you get to go in there, but I can't? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. To what extent is there a divide between the people and the government? Gotta ask, is it right for you to be able to go in there, but the people can't in that entrance? Yeah. Why? Especially the government have special perks that the people don't. Yeah. 
You'll have to go and ask security. I'm, they set it all up. What, if anything, are you doing to change it? The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, an updated web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at Shire Society dot com